Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Coach Kane, Cloud Word CBT. Got my family in here. Mike, show them love, man. What's up? Yeah. Learn behind the camera. Show them love. Hey, hey. <laughs> we got the whole crew. Listen, we got this keg, baby. Getting ready to hit this keg up. And everybody want to know how do you get the keg to work. I'll show you how it got to work. First thing you got to do is let the pressure out. Hear that? That's that pressure, baby. Last time I did it, put a hole in the ceiling. Ain't gonna do it this time. Make sure the pressure's out. We gotta do it right this time. We gonna make sure it's out. Okay, yeah, it's out. And so, uh, now this is the weird part. It's gonna take forever to do this part here. Hey, my pants with those, uh, the hammer. Okay, grab the hammer for me, too. Need the hammer. So you need a screwdriver, hammer, Needed no pliers, and you win. You put my that big dog. Yeah, man. So, and see, that's a little, I don't know if y'all can see this, but that's a little, yeah. See that right there? That little, little thing right there? You gotta get it out in order to get the cork out. So that's what the hammer and the screw for. We can get them out. A lot of time, uh, it takes forever to do this because you got to get the right spot and raise it up just enough. Hold up, man, let's see. I mean, this stuff we do at the dungeon all the time, man, you know. You get a keg, your life will change forever. Ain't it right? Life will change forever. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, you got to pull this cork out. Uh, yeah. See, we look gun shy. Last time I did that, I'm gonna knock my face off. I don't know if I said that, but my face almost came off. Right. <laughs> kind of gun shy. I've been here before. I right, tell so we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit that. It's in there. Look. This is the thing you got to get out. You get this out, you showtime. No, you got to turn it though. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like a lock. Here we go, baby. Ah. Let me see that. See, listen. For all you bill drinkers, this is it. But you get this out, game on. You bring the sand in here. This is it, baby. Yeah. It's a sand. Ah, 70 pounds of sand. Now, I mean, we're going to make this thing be about, probably about 150, 125. Um, sand and water, what we're going to do. So we're about to go outside, we're gonna fill it with sand, fill it with water, ta-da, we got our first man cause, you know, should be hard enough, get a little party, we're gonna shake it out, you know, it's all about putting a little twist to it, pour all the good beer out. Yeah. I be broke though, yeah. Good job. All right, so like I said, so now you gotta put the sand in. I mean, like I said, we're trying to make it um, about 150 pounds at the most. So you go to your nearest Home Depot. Get you some sand. Ah, good five dollars for this baby. Mate, oh, you know what you make. No funnel. But you know what? We don't have a funnel. Get what you gotta do. 
just gotta roll with it. Alright, let's put on the ground. Oh, I did not know you were there. Yeah. See, can you make a funnel with that? Yeah. Slow down, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Dust in your face, huh? Yeah, it's coming out the back. Okay. All right. All right. Sit it up for a second. So if you don't have a funnel, you got to do whatever. See, this is a great thing about being at a gym where you tell people they can't have bad food, they eat it outside the gym and throw it before they get in the gym. So, you know, we do with stuff like this, we use that as a scooper. We'll scoop this stuff up. See? <laughs> scoop up the sand. Somebody been eating some fat food. I don't know who been doing it, but we, you know, we're going to find out. Like a Twinkie reference. Yeah. Look, Twinkie. Somebody eating Twinkies outside the gym. That's a rule you can't break. All right, see where we at now. Try that feed up. High feed, feed up. Get in there? All right. Yeah, buddy. All right, here we go again. Are right, you ready to go? We're almost there, baby. All righty. Fat scooper. <laughs> I can grab that scale out of it though. You put the scale on top of that. Yeah. Now you can follow. And add the water into it, okay? So we got the good scale. I you know, you can get in the right that's the water found right now. So I got the um hold on, hold on. Let's weigh it right now, see where we at right now, coach. Woo! -hoo! About 45 pounds right now, so we're gonna put some. Right here, right here, right here. This is my You gotta find an even ground. I mean, everybody knows that, but hey, for some reason, we didn't know it then. It's okay. Right now we're 81 pounds. Now I'm gonna add water now, so we're gonna try to get it to about, like I said, between 125, 150. I hope, maybe 125, I don't know. Depending on how happy I am. Let's go, guys. Turn the water on. Hey, so you can use 
anything you want to use, but I prefer the sand in the water. It just offer that, you know, unstable feeling to you. When you pick it up, make a lean to one side on you. I never knew that, you know, putting water inside of a keg become so fascinating. You know, you just stare at the water, go in there and just be, be happy, you know? Be happy. All right, turn around, see where we at. Put it on just right, man. The scale ain't, ain't made for people. I mean, meant for people. 123. 123. You get a little more now. Yeah. Put it by. Let's get a 10 second count. Y'all gonna count, kids? Count 10. There you go. You not counting, Brianna? Eight, nine, three. Good. There you go. We don't count. Let's see where we at now. I might leave it right here, though. I think this gonna be the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 140, baby. We're gonna leave it right here. 140. Good 140 on the dot. So you gotta be a beast. You gotta be a monster. You gotta be, you know, control, whatever. <laughs> to get a 140 on a dot. It said 140.0. Real life beast. So now I'm gonna say second part you gotta get on now. All right, Bree, I'm gonna see that. Okay, so you gotta get some covers. Okay, you gotta find your cover. Again, go to your nearest Home Depot, get your covers, cover them up with, you know. And these are uh, two inches. So, uh, it's real simple now. I mean, it's the easy part. The hard part was open it up. It's the easy part, tighten it back up. go now you do slide them on now yeah okay, they gotta unscrew some more and see you gotta put it on tight enough because if not it'll come loose dang Keep it on. Don't worry about it, you know. Take a long time to do it. You know, it's all good. So now we on now. <clears throat> we on snub. All you gotta do now. Tighten this bad boy up, and you ready to start your keg carries. Should we back getting it? Boom. Well, we have it. I think we have it tight enough. You know, check it out, coach. Make sure it feels good to you. you no know, teamwork make dream work. And our dream is. Sound tight enough? That's it. Ta-da. That's how you make the keg. CPT. 
clout work, former training. We train to zip them up, man. That's what we do. We make kegs and we use fat stuff for funnels. Salute to next time. <laughs>